and welcome back to the channel. So this video has actually been a long time coming. If you guys remember the shoot that I did with Luke, oh, it was probably, I don't know, it was quite a long time ago. Um, I'll link it in the description, but I did a video with Luke and I did promise that there was going to be more to come from that shoot. The reason it has taken me so long to get this video out is because I wanted to add a little bit more to it. So I wanted to do another shoot to kind of pair it with and kind of have a more well-rounded view of the film stock that I was shooting. So if you guys caught my Lomo 400 video, then one of the models in that video, Tony, on that shoot, we also shot a roll of HP5 Plus. So I did already do a video on Ilford HP5 Plus, but that was more from a street photography point of view. I'm gonna link all of these videos in the description if you did miss them. I'm not gonna talk too much in this video. We are gonna get into behind the scenes from both shoots and looking at the images. But generally speaking, my initial thoughts of Ilford HP5 Plus in a portrait scenario was that it just lacked that little bit um, of contrast for me and that might be down to the way that I shot it but I definitely prefer a more contrasty look when it comes to black and white portraits so I'm going to be trying out some different stocks soon such as Tri-X um, I did do a video where I shot that on 35mm but I am interested to also shoot that on 120. I'll put on screen now the scans that I got back from the amazing Take It Easy lab and then the edits where I've just increased the contrast a little bit and you'll see what I mean about the contrast. But generally speaking, I don't shoot portraits with black and white film. So, you know, it's a very different scenario to, for me to kind of get used to. When I shoot black and white portraits, it's usually colour portraits, which I'll then turn into black and white and do that all in post, such as with digital. Um, and if I have like shot a roller porch 400 and then converted that into black and white. So shooting black and white portraits has been really interesting for me because you have to try and get into that mindset of shooting without colour. So for me, colour is a big part of my work. I look for colours. I am, you know, constantly searching for like colours that I can bring in from the location into the styling, etc. And to kind of take that element out of my work was a really interesting experiment. When I shot the Tri-X portraits with Dan, his outfit was black and white. So I felt like it kind of lent itself a little bit more to that, that film stock. And I was able to get my head more into the the thought process of shooting black and white. Whereas when I've been shooting these portraits, you'll see that there's so many different colors and I was probably shooting the film as if it was color and trying to bring in those colors from the backgrounds, etc., which just doesn't work when you're not shooting in color. But I'm not gonna to talk too much more. We're gonna get into the behind the scenes. A massive shout out to Stan who filmed the BTS for Tony's shoot and to Megan who shot the BTS for Luke's shoot. I'm going to link them both in the description as well.
You need to kind of like lean on your hand, we'll do that kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna get you into the middle of the road again, how we were a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. Cool, we're gonna go one, two, three. Perfect, we're gonna go one, two, three. No, we're not. <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah, that's nice. Cool, we'll go. It, actually, if you look into whatever direction that was, you just looked into. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Cool, we'll go one, two, three. And um, yeah, I'll get you to sit wherever you kind of want to, wherever you're brave enough. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Perfect, we'll go one, two, three. Yeah, that's nice. I'm trying to think what's here. Yeah, that's really nice. Perfect, look at me. Nice. Cool, hold that there. One, two, three. Thank you guys for watching that is all from me do let me know what you think about the shots and if you like to shoot ilford hp5 plus for your portraits then let me know in the comments and let me know any advice that you would give i have heard that shooting this stock at a higher iso not at box speed can sometimes bring in that little bit more contrast that i'm looking for so i might try that out in a future video but as ever thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one